News of his passing came just hours after he delivered a speech at an energy conference in Abuja where he said the oil and gas industry is under siege and still reeling from the enormous investment losses of recent years. He also met with President Muhammadu Buhari earlier on Tuesday. OPEC in a statement said he was the much-loved leader of the OPEC Secretariat and his passing is a profound loss to the entire OPEC family, the oil industry and the international community. Nigeria's government also said his passing was a great loss to the country. The Nigerian oil industry veteran was due to step down at the end of this month after six years at the OPEC top job. But Kindo oversaw turbulent times for the oil producers organization, which witnessed volatile markets worsened by the COVID-19 pandemic, the creation of the OPEC Plus alliance with Russia and other non-OPEC states, as well as Russia's invasion of of Ukraine. He has been credited with guiding unity among the group's members in an effort to stabilize global oil markets. The cause of his death is not known. Ajak Mangut, SABC News, Abuja.